you asked me just a few months ago why I didn't have a routine, I would say I'm just not a routine person. This was because I tried every routine self-improvement guru's advice. You waking up at 5 a.m. and working 10 hours a day. But before the day was over, I already abandoned it. So I built my own step-by-step -step blueprints about the bulletproof routine that you can start tomorrow and you'll actually follow. Step one, waking up. Whenever your alarm clock wakes you up, never press snooze. Pressing snooze for those 10 minutes of extra sleep basically means you're already giving up when the day has just started. If the first thing you do that day is a loss, then that day won't get any better. Starting up the day of eating breakfast, showering, and brushing my teeth usually takes me around 30 minutes. If it takes you a lot longer than that, that's probably because you're already checking your phone or scrolling on TikTok in between those tasks. If you leave school at 8 a.m., then you need those 30 minutes of getting ready before that, but also leave 20 minutes to an hour or more before going to school, and you'll see why I do this at step three. Right now, your schedule should look something like this. Step two, wind conditions. Before you can continue your routine, you need to write down your wind conditions for the day. A wind condition is what you need to do in order for that day to be a win. For me, my wind conditions are working out and working on my videos. It's important to focus on these conditions in your routine instead of every small task like brushing your teeth or choosing your clothes. Those are important too, but when you start implementing those incredibly small tasks in your routine, it'll become harder and harder to follow. Now that you have your wind conditions, you're going to fill in that 20 minutes to an hour spot left open from earlier with the hardest one of them. I don't go to school so I can do this for two hours, but since you're just beginning, 20 minutes to an hour should be manageable. Starting off with the hardest wind condition first sets your day up for success, unlike pressing the snooze button on your alarm. By not making this first deep work session too long, your wind condition can be unfinished and you'll actually look forward to it in your next deep work session. Now also plan when you'll do the other deep work sessions across the day. This completely varies per person. If you don't immediately know where to put the other work sessions, don't worry. In step six, I'll explain that process in more detail. The basis of self-improvement is small incremental changes, so don't be annoyed if your routine doesn't seem that significant just yet. Step four, work versus deep work. Do you notice how I said deep work earlier? This is a very important distinction. In school, you're technically working for eight hours, but sitting in a classroom listening to a teacher or a professor is mostly passive. Actual work is physically or creatively draining, like writing or editing this video. Imagine how much work you could get done in just two hours if you were completely concentrated in a flow state without any distractions. This is what deep work means. However, regular work sessions that aren't as demanding are still useful though. Implement regular work sessions after your drain, like just after coming back from school, or work it out. Step 5. Experimentation Experimentation is the second most important step of making your daily routine. There are countless ways to experiment with your routine, like working at different places or different times during the day. And this is also how you can best place your work or deep work sessions across your day. The trap that I fell into and you need to be careful of is not immediately drawing conclusions. Just like I used to think, I wasn't a routine person by adopting a routine that wasn't good for me for just one day. One of the most important parts of your routine to experiment with is waking up. I've tried basically every sleep schedule to settle on the one I'm currently using. Step 6. Standardized Inconsistencies Every day we make small choices, like what do I want for breakfast, or what should I wear today? These take a bit of time on their own, but all of those small decisions really add up in the long run. Let's say you spend 15 minutes a day deciding what you're going to wear or eat that day. That's almost 2 hours a week, and almost 100 hours every year. That's why it's so important to standardize these decisions. How you standardize them is completely up to you. Step 7. Choose the right breaks. There are four types of breaks that you need to choose from. Long or short breaks, and active or passive breaks. Long breaks are one hour or longer, while short breaks are five minutes every 30 minutes. If you notice that the long breaks make it harder for you to get back to work, short breaks might be your thing. But if the short breaks don't restore your energy enough, then long breaks are probably more your thing. Passive breaks are meditating, listening to music, 
taking a nap, or breathing exercises while active breaks or stretching, walking, or jogging. You test all of these by trying the routine and writing down every time you deviate and need a break. Try to recognize the patterns, like during what part of the day do I need more breaks? At what time does it become hard for me to get back to work when taking a break? This is by far the most important step and the one everyone seems to overlook. Write down whenever you don't follow your routine. If you can follow your routine 100% of the time, then you're either a godlike monk or your routine is too easy. I've been working with a routine for a couple of months, and I only get it completely right 70 to 80% of the time. Whenever I can get it right 90% of the time or more, that signals to me that it's time to make my routine slightly harder. For me, a routine should be something that improves forever, just like you do. In order to keep following this routine, you're going to need to be more disciplined though, which is part 2 of this video.